A local annual fair began this week. 27 News reporter Gabriel Johnson tells us how people are enjoying it while staying cautious. Carnival rides, tractor pulls, and the smell of funnel cakes can only mean one thing. The Riley County Fair is back. Since Thursday, thousands have come out to enjoy the activities. It's like that exciting energy, and the fair was a big part of um, growing up, and so I just love that all kinds of people are at the fair, like everybody from all walks of life. The first few days of the fair were very hot. Vendors like Kona Ice, who have helped patrons stay cool, even struggled in the heat. It's been extremely hot. Like, we've run out of ice. The ice has melted. Um, so it's good if you, sh if you sell shaved ice. It's a good thing to have. People aren't the only ones affected. Fair animals have been a popular attraction at the county fair for years, but even they can't endure the sun for too long. And the heat and no water does a lot for an animal. It's mm -hmm. it. It does their physical along with their, their heat stress, their skin, their mind, just like it does a human. Farmers are taking precautions this year to keep the horses, cattle, and other animals healthy. I have uh, conditioned these about a week prior, giving them the, the salt prior and stuff, and getting their bodies hydrated to start with helps. With tomorrow being the last day of the fair, people will continue to pack the fairgrounds and enjoy carnival rides like you're seeing just behind me. We got a little bit of rain earlier today, which hopefully will help keep temperatures down for tomorrow, which is the last day of the fair. In Riley County, Gabriel Johnson, Fox 43 News.